Talk to us about Saturday night. Uh, Saturday night gonna be amazing, man. Anything Artem does that you work hard to prepare for, and you see anything out of him in that fight would bring more than this? Any cause of concern at all? Cause of concern? Nah, I don't concern because we on two different levels. But uh, yeah, he do some stuff good, and uh, I've been working on taking it away. So yeah. And in the future, you looking at staying at 135 and unifying the division, or you considering also maybe moving up? Nah, 35 my weight. Um, like I said, I move up if the fight makes sense. There's a lot happening in a 135, 140-pound area. Is there any pressure for you Saturday night? I mean, it's only pressure when you make it feel like it's pressure. Um, honestly, I feel as though uh, I'm going in there to have fun and just be myself. And is Dennis Baranchik somebody you target in the unification fight considering Loma? He probably Andrew another Hoover. clout chaser just saying my name for no reason. Um, I want to reach out and make the fight happen, but I think top rank got him in some type of situation where uh, if I don't resign, I can't fight him. So. You did a story with the Players' Tribune many years ago, and, and you talked about putting on for the city of Newark. How does it feel to still be doing that? It feels good. I mean, um, I'm Nork made. I'm, I wouldn't be who I am today without Nork. So uh, I appreciate them. And uh, for them, I'm going to go in there and try to perform at my best. What this does is, it mean for you to still have your, your grandfather here with you by, by your side? Uh, that means everything with me. He's been by my side since I started my career. And uh, it's going uh, in that way. So I appreciate him. And in terms of the other big fights recently in Division Shakur, Tank got that big win against Frank Martin. Loma got the big win against Cambosis. Of those two wins, who impressed you more? Uh, Lomachenko, um, just because um, a lot of people were saying how washed up he was. And um, even though I expected both, like I got great boxing IQ. Uh, if you go look at my interviews before both of them fights, I told y'all what was going to happen. I said Lomachenko was going to stop Cambosis. I said uh, Tank was going to stop Frank. So. If we call it like Frank a big win, then uh, we seen Artem on a, in the same kind of level as he Frank. Gave him I'm talking about the fight was like yeah, this. So if the fight was like this, and they on the same level, we calling that a big win. Damn, what's the uh, what is it gonna be for me? So Shakur, when you fight a mutual guy from one of your contracts, do you feel like you always have to one up him and have a better performance? A mutual guy from what? Well, Frank more than fought Frank Artem. Artem. You're fighting Artem. Yeah, yeah, one up Frank. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, that's no question. And wh why the focus, do you think? Is it just solely because it was the last fight with De Los Santos? But you've had some very impressive wins. Valdez, Jamel Herring, you know, the, the Yoshino fight last time you were here. Why the focus, do you think, of so much of the media on the last fight with De Los Santos? Because they be on my nuts and they got to get off my nuts. <laughs> that's the real problem. They got to stop be on my nuts too much. Um, I don't put on performance after performance. Uh, I don't show who I am over and over. Uh, they scream out your failures, but whisper your accomplishments, and uh, I don't respect that. So fuck them. Fuck anybody who got something to say about me. 